Hi, I'm Suzanne McNeil with Design Originals. I just love Zentangle and watercolor. Once I learned Zentangle, I was addicted. And once I started adding color to it through my florals and my, I call them beautiful ladies, then I really have enjoyed it even more. So I just want to show you an inkling of how to do the uh, watercolor part of Zentangle. My other free D DVDs and my free, and my long DVD go into more depth of the watercolor. But here's a, just a basic sample. So uh, I like, I've drawn this Zentangle on here. And now the, I like to use 100 pound or 140 pound hot pressed paper. So my technique is I don't tape mine or do staples or anything. I just wet the front of the paper. I do the back of the paper. Now you can do whatever method you like, but this is the one I like. So this is one I want to show you. And I wet the front again. So since I have used a permanent micron pen, once that dries overnight, that doesn't smear it all. And now I'm just going to uh, take my color. The first step I like to do is just to put some sort of broad color on there, just, just to give her some personality. So this is Harriet, and this is her sister Hermione here. So I'm just going to sort of follow that color uh, palette. But I'm not trying to do it exact. Since the Zentangle is so graphic and so detailed, I prefer to, uh, to make the background uh, have a little bit more um, run or not quite so graphic so that it, it gives a nice complement to the graphic quality of the Zentangle. So this is my first step, and uh, really I do it about like this. <laughs> and then uh, I do want to take a paper towel and sop up around the edge so that she, so I won't get back runs on there. If I do get back runs on there, I'm going to uh, add some more layers, and they pretty much disappear after you've worked on the other layers. So now I need to let her sit and dry. So I'm just going to move her out of the way. And now here's her friend. So the, the here's her friend after she dried. And then I came back and added some more black because I thought that really popped it up. So my next step would be to really go in and work in detail on the piece. And uh, I am kind of a hurry so because I want you to see what I'm doing. But I can really pop up that color and I might choose to um, make every one of these divisions that bright yellow and make the divisions going the other way a little brighter orange. So I just work on her. I add some shading to her face. I want to give that some dimension. I like a lot of color, so I, I'm, I'm definitely not a realistic uh, painter. I have tried that, but it just it wasn't nearly as much fun as being creative and just using your intuition in different areas to me. I, believe it or not, I can draw realistically. I know she doesn't look very realistic, but uh, that's what I like. It sort of gives her some personality that you wouldn't see in anyone else's painting. And then in the background, I take a little bit of color. And I've drawn all these tangle triangles and squares in the background. And I like to really highlight those and give them just a little bit of punch. It, it's not hard to go around those. I love these silver black velvet brushes. They hold a lot of paint color, a lot of water, but they still have this wonderful tip and flexibility that makes it so so easy to work with them. So you might want to see a detail of one of my larger paintings, and that'll give you the idea of what it looks when it's totally finished. So this is just the basics of Zentangle with watercolor, but I have a full-length DVD that shows 
goes into this in more depth and it shows a lot more processes for coloring and drawing Zentangle. I also have a complete selection of books and each book has different tangles in it. So it, it can be pretty addictive, I have to warn you, because um, you wanna, might want to start learning all the tangles. If you learned one every day, by the end of the year, you'd have uh, 395. So what fun. So visit Jerry's Artorama for my books and DVD and visit d-originals.com. And on my blog, I give a free tangle pattern and a little quickie craft video every week. And that's blog.suzannemcneil.com. So enjoy Zentangle in watercolor.